2 Kings chapter 19 And it was when King Hizqiyahu heard it that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of Yahweh and he sent Eliakim who was over the household and Shebna the scribe and the olders of the priests covered with sackcloth to Yeshayahu the prophet the son of Amorth and they said to him, Thus saith Hezqiyahu, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and of contumely. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be, Yahweh thy God will hear all the words of Rabshaqeh, whom the king of Athur, his master, hath sent to defy the living God, and will rebuke the words which Yahweh thy God hath heard. For what reason? Lift up thy prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of king Hezqiyahu came to Yeshayahu, and Yeshayahu said to them, Thus shall ye say to your master, Thus saith Yahweh, Be not afraid of the words that thou hast heard, wherewith the servants of the king of Athur have blasphemed me. Behold, I will put a spirit in him, and he shall hear tidings, and shall return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rabshaqeh returned and found the king of Athur warring against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish. And when he heard say of Tirahaqa, king of Cush, Behold, he is come out to fight against thee, he sent messengers again to Hizqiyahu, saying, Thus shall ye speak. To Hizqiyahu, king of Yehuda, saying, Let not thy God, in whom thou trustest, deceive thee, saying, Yerushalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Athur. Behold, thou hast heard what the kings of Athur have done to all lands, by destroying them utterly, and shalt thou be delivered. Have the gods of the nations delivered them, which my fathers have destroyed, Gorzan and Haran and Resep and the children of Redan that were in Telahashar? Where is the king of Hamath and the king of Arpad and the king of the city of Sepharwayim of Hena'a and Ewa? And Hizqiyahu received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hizqiyahu went up to the house of Yahweh and spread it before Yahweh. And Hizqiyahu prayed before Yahweh and said, O Yahweh, the God of Yisrael, that sitteth upon the Kuruvim, thou art the God, even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made skies and earth. Incline thy ear, O Yahweh, and hear. Open thy eyes, O Yahweh, and see. And hear the words of sen wherewith he hath sent him to defy the living God. Of a truth, Yahweh, the kings of Athur, have laid waste the nations and their lands and have cast their gods into the fire, for they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Yahweh our God, save thou us, I beseech thee, out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou, Yahweh, art God alone. Then Yeshayahu the son of Amoth sent to Hizqiyahu, saying, Thus saith Yahweh the God of Yisrael, 
Whereas thou hast prayed to me against Senaherib, king of Athur, I have heard thee. This is the word that Yahweh hath spoken concerning him. The virgin daughter of Theon hath despised thee and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Yerushalem hath shaken her head at thee. Whom hast thou defied and blasphemed? And against whom hast thou exalted thy voice and lifted up thy eyes on high? Even against the Holy One of Yisrael? By thy messengers thou hast defied the Lord, and hast said, With the multitude of my chariots, Am I come up to the height of the mountains, to the innermost parts of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into his farthest lodging place, the forest of his fruitful field. I have digged and drunk strange waters, and with the sole of my feet will I dry up all the rivers of Marthor. Hast thou not heard how I have done it long ago, and formed it of ancient times? Now have I brought it that it should be thine to lay waste fortified cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field, and as the green plant, as the grass on the housetops, and as grain blasted before it is grown up. But I know thy sitting down, and thy going out, and thy coming in, and thy raging against me. Because of thy raging against me, and because thy arrogancy is come up into my ears, Therefore will I put my hook in thy nose, and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest, and this shall be the sign to thee. Ye shall eat this year that which groweth of itself, and in the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruit thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Yehuda shall again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Yerushalem shall go forth the remnant, and out of Mount Theon they that shall escape. The zeal of Yahweh shall perform this. Therefore thus saith Yahweh concerning the king of Athur, he shall not come to this city, nor shoot an arrow there, neither shall he come before it with shield, nor cast up a mound against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and he shall not come to this city, saith Yahweh, for I will defend this city to save it for my own sake, and for my servant Dawid's sake. And it was that night that the messenger of Yahweh went forth and smote in the camp of the Athurim a hundred eighty and five thousand. And when men arose early in the morning, behold, these were all dead bodies. So Senaherib, king of Athur, departed and went and returned, and dwelt at Nineve. And it was, as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch his god, that Adramelech and Shareser smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Ararat, and Esarhaddon his son reigned in his stead.